So, we're going to create the tinsel with Connect Layers Pro. We're going to eventually use Newton, but I think it'll be interesting to see what we can do with Connect Layers Pro. So, what we're going to do is take our tree sim and duplicate it for the tinsel. I can just get rid of these objects here. I'm not going to need them. And the globe, I, yeah, I can get rid of the globe. I don't think I'll need the star either. Just keep these objects here. We can already add the tinsel to the design. So for Connect Layers Pro, so that we can actually um, trace the lines between the objects, we actually need the tinsel there already. What we're going to do is actually create three channels in Connect Layers. One for the top layer, one for the middle layer, and one finally for the bottom. For this, I'm going to create some blank objects, because I think that's going to be easiest. Change the color and scale them so that they aren't too big. And we shall move them to the point that the tinsel uh, attaches to the tree. Just getting the placing right. I think I might also change the design of the tinsel. Change their names. Okay, so I just need to link my two objects to the top layer of the tree. That's good, it moves. I'm just going to hide the tinsel, because we don't need it right now. And I'll trace my line between the two points. Okay, so I'm just going to see what it looks like. Uh, it's not really interesting. Now, let's make it move. Open up this tab here and change the design. Just want to make the ends rounded. Increase the size a bit. And finally, change the color so that my tinsel is red. Finally, the tinsel moves. So what I need to do is add a curve and use the setting dynamic verlet. And now if we make it move, what's going to happen? It's nice, but it's maybe a bit too big of a movement. I would prefer to have smaller movements than that. So I'll just change the settings. So we'll put it on low gravity. And for my stiffness, I'm going to put it on 0%. Then I have my sub segments. This is actually the amount of points along my line, and I'm also going to drop this number, maybe even to two points. So just two points on the line, one at each end of the tinsel. And we'll see what this does for us. Okay, that's great. That's uh, much more cartoony, and uh, that's exactly what I want. What we can do, so that it doesn't recalculate the movement each time, is that we can bake the work area so that we don't end up with a new movement each time we hit play. I'm just going to get my position to the right point, maybe there, and bake.
Awesome. So now that's done, we'll do it for the other parts of the tinsel. Uh, exactly the same as before, I'll create the other points and place them over the points of tinsel where they connect to the tree. So now I need to change where they're attached so that they line up nicely. And then I'm going to grab part zero two. Just uh, organizing. Um, zero two, I click on Connect Layers Pro and I perform the same modifications as before. And what does that give us? It's good, but I'll see if I can maybe increase the amount of subsections because this piece of tinsel is a bit larger than the other. This could be a bit more interesting. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, we'll stay like that. And same as before, we'll bake. And by doing this, you gain so much time using connect layers. with everything that you make move. It's, uh, it's really important that you do that. And once that's done, we'll finally move on to number three. The same thing. We should be good. Okay, this is good. Same thing again. Bake. You always want to bake. And when that's done, we'll add a few shadows because there was um, the smallest problem with how they looked. So I shall bevel and emboss our segments. I know it's a little weird, but we'll fix that very easily. So we're going to cut every highlight or everything that can be considered a highlight. We are then going to take the design of my tinsel for the bottom part. Great. The color was that and we'll stick it at 100%. And then we can go to the uh, top. And we can do something here to make it look much more like the original image. Can we maybe change the size a bit? Yeah, that's better. I shall copy and Paste that to here. Hide these. We can then stick these on guide layers. And that'll just give us a little bit more control. And then we can go back here. I can hide my original tinsel. And I'll just replace that with my new tinsel. And now, what do we have? Uh, 
Okay, it's good, but what I don't like is that the tinsel actually, um, the tinsel leaves the globe. So we're gonna hide that with a mask. I shall use the snow cache, because uh, I think that'll be appropriate. Uh, no, not that. And we're going to use a trackmate on alpha. Great. And just like that, you'll see that the tinsel does not leave the globe. And actually, when it goes down, it'll go into the snow, which I think is uh, really nice. And I'm going to say it again. And I'm going to say it again. Because we baked the first time, we already baked the simulation, it's now really fast. And um, now we've done the tinsel with uh, Connect Layers Pro. We shall continue with the presents and uh, make them move as well. <laughs> 